Hey, what up everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you. I think one of the biggest mysteries going on right now is the status of the Money in the Bank match and or pay-per-view. Uh, I guess the word uh, got around earlier this week that the Money in the Bank uh, pay-per-view had been canceled. I was really against this. Uh, I, I know a lot of people think that the Money in the Bank deserves to be a WrestleMania match. To get more of the, the bigger names, a, a more profile, you know, a, a higher profile uh, type of match at WrestleMania and, 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 you know, be able to fit everybody in and not, not have to make the four-on-four, four, you know, tag team match like we had last year against, like, the SmackDown Dream Team going up against the core. Um, I mean, it gets a lot of guys on the card and uh, gets everybody featured. Uh, but, but honestly, I think the Money in the Bank pay-per-view has stole the show for the last two years. It's easily been able to, to put up in at least the top two, top three pay-per-views each year. I think both have given us uh, real good pay-per-views with real good um, stacked main events. Also giving us the uh, the Money in the Bank to focus these guys and, and get them you know, headlining uh, during the summertime. And, you know, everything has been able to produce um, champions because we haven't had a Money in the Bank win or lose yet. Uh, but I mean, when, when they have the names of the uh, guys that they're thinking of putting in this year's Money in the Bank at WrestleMania, if they do it, um, it is going to steal the show. I don't, I don't see how you can have a former champion uh, Money in the Bank sort of like a, um, you know, get these guys jump-started again when you put uh, names out there like um, Randy Orton, The Miz, Alberto Del Rio, uh, Mark Henry, Christian, if he's able to come back, Kane, uh, Jack Swagger. I think you'd be able to, you know, jumpstart somebody's career uh, by saying they won, you know, a uh, money in the bank that that you know add up however many championships uh, is is in this match at one time. You you put Orton in there and you got at least I don't know how many times Orton's been champion, but I would guess six times, maybe more, and everybody else has one or two. Um, I was really looking forward to seeing you know, Randy Orton have a match against Wade Barrett, but uh, I honestly think that uh, Randy Orton would seal the show if he would be able to go on in a little RKO fest uh, like he did in the past Money in the Banks that he was in. Um, I don't know. Stacking the card with this many guys would be good, plus to be able to you know find ways to get these guys on there. Like I said, I wasn't a fan of last year having that you know SmackDown Dream Team match where you had... Um, Kozlov get taken off, and then Kofi Kingston got you know thrown on there at the last minute to to make sure he he got on there. Yeah, I think everybody that you know was you know had a, a main spot in WrestleMania was able to get on there, except for maybe like Santino, but he was used in that pre-show battle. No, Santino was in the match. Shit, I just thought of somebody else, but I I can't remember. But basically, everybody that was a main player for last year, you know, got on the WrestleMania thing. And you don't want to see anybody get left off. Definitely if they were a guy like, you know, Mark Henry, who now looks like he's going to be hurt and, and might not be able to make it anyways. But, you know, somebody that had a year like he did where he you know, was a former, uh, you know, champion, carried SmackDown, probably one of the biggest, you know, feel-good stories with somebody coming off, you know, being on the roster that long and not really having anything to do, made a joke of his, his whole career, basically. And, you know, being able to, you know, have one of the biggest moments, you know, pinning and becoming the champion. I think that was that was a great moment, and I think even if you weren't a Mark Henry fan, I think a lot of people marked out just for WWE, WWE giving us something that, you know, we had never seen before. So many times you see John Cena, Randy Orton, uh, you know, win the title over and over and over again. And and like I said, when, when Cena won the title for the uh, 10th time this year, it was just like, I mean, come on, you look back in the past, and, and Hogan's only a three-time champion, so, I mean, like, is he better than Hulk Hogan? In my book, growing up a Hogan fan all my life, I mean, Cena's good and all, but he's no fucking Hulk Hogan. You know, you got The Rock, who's only won the title a couple of times. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin only won it three times. Is he better than Austin? No. I, I mean, so... Basically, what are championships even worth these days? I think I went in a different direction with this video. But basically, you know, I hope they don't get rid of Money in the Bank. I think WrestleMania doesn't need Money in the Bank. The Money in the Bank pay-per-view is awesome. It kicks off the summer before SummerSlam. Does it overshadow SummerSlam maybe a little bit? I'm not sure, but I think it sets up everything that you're going for. I mean, you've had um, basically Kane the last year won, uh, won the, uh, the, the SmackDown uh, Money in the Bank, then he cashed it in that night and, and beat Ray for the title. Um, then, um, you know, basically that set up, you know, Kane versus The Undertaker 
uh, from there on out. And I mean, and then you had uh, Miz also win from the Money in the Bank last year. And then, you know, you all, you always had Miz in the back of your mind, you know, saying, you know, when is he going to uh, cash in? You know, we, we had to go all the way till it was either right after or right before Survivor Series. I think it was the night after Survivor Series. Uh, when Miz finally cashed in and won the title, uh, I mean that that was able to set up you know basically your whole summer into fall. Uh, this year you had Del Rio win it and he cashed in right away at the SummerSlam pay per view and then you know he jumped back and forth. It didn't really set a whole bunch up, but it made Del Rio a main eventer. You know and it, and it capitalized his years. He's the main player after winning the Royal Rumble, uh, having a, a title match at WrestleMania, uh, you know and and finally you know getting there to win a Money in the Bank and then uh, actually win a title. Um, and then, uh, Daniel Bryant won and he was able to, um, to win it after he said he was going to wait until WrestleMania. So he sort of played in the background. So maybe he didn't, but I mean, now Daniel Bryant's on a roll and a lot of people like me are actually thinking that he's going to make it to Mania with that title after when he, when he first cashed it in, people say, nah, he'd be done at the Rumble. But now that, you know, he, they've turned him heel and they've given some more storyline progression. Um, it looks like I'm rooting for him to make it. So basically I hope Money in the Bank is to keep its own pay-per-view have two Money in the Bank matches there. I'd rather have two matches over one match. Rest, one match at WrestleMania. If, if they do this one that they have planned, it's going to be A+. plus. Maybe they don't have the biggest names. You're not going to be able to get, get, get guys in there like Evan Bourne to be able to do the flips and shit off there. Kofi Kingston would be jumping off crap. But, um, I mean, at least the, the name power would be able to deliver that's in there. So I think that would be pretty kick-ass.